Hello, my name is Bobby Murray. I'm a regional sales engineer with McElroy Manufacturing. I'm here in McElroy's Technical Center to demonstrate the proper use of a number 2LC fusion machine. I will be using the 2LC to butt fuse 2 inch IPS DR11 high density polyethylene pipe in accordance with the fusion parameters set forth in the ASTM F2620 standard. This is the generally accepted standard for heat fusion joining of polyethylene pipe and fittings in the United States. There are other fusion standards that may govern your process. Make sure you understand the fusion parameters required for your job site. The first step is to clean the ends of the pipe prior to loading the pipe into the fusion machine. Wipe off the inside and outside of the pipe ends with a lint-free cloth or a plain paper towel to remove excess dirt and debris that could contaminate the fuse joint. Ensure the correct jaw inserts are installed in the fusion machine for the pipe size you are fusing. The jaws and inserts are serrated to help grip the pipe. Load the pipe into the machine leaving about a finger's width of pipe extending past the jaws. This allows enough pipe material to achieve complete face off. Lower the upper jaws and use the clamp knobs to tighten the jaws around the pipe. Tighten by hand only. Do not use a wrench. Excessive clamping force is not required. Make sure the pipe is loaded straight and aligned with the fusion machine. With the jaws open, place the facer onto the guide rods ensuring the facer latch handle locks onto the guide rod securely. Turn the facer crank handle counterclockwise to bring the pipe ends against the facer using the movable jaw lever. Apply firm pressure on the jaw lever and continue facing until the facer stops bottom out completely on the jaws. Stop facer rotation and move the jaws apart. Unlatch and remove the facer. Remove the pipe shavings, being careful not to touch the newly faced pipe ends. Inspect the pipe ends to verify complete face-off was achieved. The entire pipe interface of both pipe ends must be faced to ensure the pipe ends are clean and parallel. Bring the pipe ends together. Use a pen or similar device to check for proper pipe alignment. The height of the pipe ends should be essentially flush with one another. ASTM F2620 requires height misalignment to be less than 10% of the pipe wall thickness. If the pipe ends are not perfectly aligned, tighten the high side to meet up with the low side. Never loosen the low side. If height adjustment is made, you must reface the pipe ends to ensure proper face off of the tightened side. After height alignment is verified, firmly squeeze the pipe ends together to simulate fusion force to ensure that the pipe does not slip in the jaws. If either pipe slips under fusion force, reinstall the pipe with more clamping force and repeat the facing process again. Keep the pipe ends together in the fusion machine while preparing the heater to ensure they don't become contaminated. Clean the heater butt plates with a clean, dry, non-synthetic, lint-free cloth. A plain white paper towel works well. Dirty butt plates can cause contamination of the fusion area. The thermometer on the heater measures the internal heater temperature and should be used for reference only. Check the surface temperature of both heater butt plates with a contact or infrared pyrometer in a couple of areas where the pipe will come into contact. ASTM F2620 specifies a heater temperature range for butt fusion between 400 and 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Open the pipe ends and position the heater in between them, placing the heater's guide rod support brackets on the guide rods to support the heater. Close the pipe ends against the heater to achieve complete contact on both sides. Do not apply any more force than is required to keep the pipe ends held against the heater. Engage the locking cam on the carriage. This will hold the carriage position for the cooling cycle after the fusion is completed. Allow the pipe to heat without applying force to the jaw lever. This is called the heat soak cycle. ASTM F2620 includes a minimum melt bead size table for all pipe sizes. For this 2 inch IPS pipe, the standard calls for a minimum of 1 16th inch bead size. Heat soak is a crucial part of the fusion process and it is essential to achieve the minimum bead size. It is better to heat a bit too long rather than not long enough. When the heat soak cycle is completed, the heater is ready to be removed. The heater removal process should be done as quickly as possible. The maximum open close time is 8 seconds. Open the carriage and strip the heater off the pipe ends. Remove the heater taking care not to bump the pipe ends. Quickly inspect the pipe ends to ensure they are flat and smooth with no unmelted areas. Close the carriage and make the fusion using continual even force on the jaw lever to achieve a complete double rollback bead. The 2LC fusion machine has a 5.8 to 1 mechanical advantage, so this will not require much force. Double check the locking cam to make sure it properly engages the knurled knob. 
If the pipe ends are the slightest bit concave, if there are any areas that did not melt, or if the pipe ends appear to be contaminated, abort the fusion process immediately. All of these conditions would result in a weak fusion joint. If the process is aborted, wait for the pipe ends to cool and completely restart the fusion process. Leave the fusion in the machine with the locking cam engaged and allow the fusion to cool. ASTM F2620 specifies a minimum cool time of 11 minutes per inch of pipe wall thickness. In other words, multiply the wall thickness in inches by 11 minutes. To calculate the wall thickness, take the pipe's outside diameter and divide it by the dimension ratio, or DR. Outside diameters of most pipe sizes are listed in the back of our catalog. Our pipe is 2 inch IPS DR11, which has an outside diameter of 2.37 inches. Divide 2.37 inches by 11, which gives us a wall thickness of 0.22 inches. To calculate the cool time, we will take the wall thickness of 0.22 inches and multiply it by 11 minutes. The minimum cool time for 2 inch IPS DR11 pipe will be 2.37 minutes, or 2 minutes and 22 seconds. Once the cool cycle is completed, disengage the locking cam, loosen the clamp knobs, and open the jaws. The final step to any fusion is inspection. A thorough visual inspection of the fusion will catch many of the potential problems. Here is what to look for. This fusion is unacceptable because the bead is not uniform around the circumference of the pipe. This fusion does not have a complete double rollback bead. This bead has contamination in it. This fusion is obviously mitered. The pipe ends were not aligned correctly in the jaws. As you can see, pipe fusion is a fairly quick and easy process. A properly fused joint will be as strong or stronger than the pipe itself. It's key that you follow the steps outlined in this video to ensure your fusion is made properly. For more detailed safety, operation, and maintenance information on the 2LC fusion machine, please refer to the machine's operator's manual.